Oi mate, it's Monday. This time it's pretty much all food and games. Alright, we'll be quick here. Ethiopia coffee, I had it earlier. I don't even know what it tasted like, I drank it really quick. I think it had some sort of flavour, not particularly strong. I can see why there were a few left on the shelf. Alright, but the main thing was not Ethiopia coffee. It's this sparkling mango I mentioned last week, which is actually not the main thing at all. The main story is um, are about things like, for example, Digital Extremes, who make uh, Warframe. They're now making another game called Soul Frame, which will be not sci fi. It'll be. Oh, so I have to clean. Ah, oh, Has it stopped? No. Why does it do that? So that's made a bit of a mess. Well, that doesn't have much mango flavour either. They were right. This is just excess calories. It's not particularly mango. -y. Oh, and that's pretty nice. It's probably just the massive amount of sugar and the slight mango flavour. Talking, but um, I mean, what do we got here? We got um, high fructose corn syrup. Mango concentrated 0.05% Mexico. The mangoes are 0.05% Mexico? No, it's 0.05% mangoes from Mexico, but that's a very small amount of mango extract. And there's some skim milk powder in there too, for some reason. Much like that mango milk. The mango milk was better, but uh. Hmm. Oh well, that means I guess, um. Pepsi Max Mango is still the non-alcoholic mango drink winner. I don't even know if I finished that. Maybe I should just tip out those excesso calorias. Save myself some uh, exercise to do. Hmm. Was there any other food things? McDonald's brought Szechuan sauce back. It has now landed in Australia. Really. Thank you, Mick and Morty, for bringing attention to this source and getting it to come back. I mean, I don't know if that was the direct cause, but it certainly got the ball rolling. I can understand the obsession with the source. It's amazing. If this was the default source they had all the time, and not sweet and sour, it'd be a whole different story. I don't, I don't like most things on McDonald's menu, but that, that is amazing. It is. It's got a tanginess to it, uh, and a saltiness from the soy, but there's also, I don't know, a bit of a, a small bit of black bean flavour. I don't usually like black bean sauce. There's a little bit of it, and that's nice. And some barbecue, it, it's just really good sauce. It's a dark, rich, umami sauce. Absolutely outstanding. I'm sure there are other Szechuan sauces in bottles somewhere. That are probably even better, which I have to go find. I need to go to the Asian groceries um, store style instead of just their <laughs> snacks and things. Excuse me. I need one of these gums too. Hmm. Alright. It's all over the place. I have jump cuts galore trying to work it all out. Another gaming thing, right? DJ Max Respect. It's my. One of my favourite games, since I was introduced to it through its demo on PS4. Played that and went, right, I'm going to buy the full game, and I did. That was a few years ago, fast forward to now. You know, it, it's a hobby. I love DJ Max Respect. A while back they were saying, we're stopping supporting the PS4 version fully. You know, it'll get most of the new content, but all of it will be on the PC version, DJ Max Respect V. Suddenly, all of a sudden, DJ Max Respect V is launched on... I was going to say is launching, but it has launched on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and um, PC through the Windows Store and it's on Game Pass at launch. So, all of these things that were going to the Windows exclusive version not going to PS4, suddenly they're also all on Xbox all of a sudden and there's no news on whether There'll be a PS4 or just PS5 port of Respect V, or if support will just taper off for all PlayStation consoles, even though it was a PS4 exclusive first, 
for two years and um, move to Xbox. I don't know. Either way, um, that's good. Spread DJ Max respect to more people. It's an amazingly fun game. But um, yeah, I just I don't know what is happening for uh, people who've already bought it and spent quite a lot of money on all the packs and things on PS4. If there's any hope of ever moving them forward to an updated version, it'll have the other packs or uh, or what. And also, this thing. I forgot I bought this thing on eBay. It was only $3 or something. This. I don't even know. It's some shiny crystals. I think it's been there. Um, that, that thing where they, they coat it in a very thin layer of titanium. Yeah. So, that's really cool. I'll put it back in the bag now. And I'll remember not to lick my fingers, because it's probably toxic or something. Yeah, that, that came in the mail today. That was good fun. Oh, good fun. I don't know. Cool that it's arrived. D don't know what I'll do with it. I've seen Thor Love and Thunder now. It's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty unusual. It's very unusual. But not bad. I can understand when people say that they don't see the plot connection... Really, I, I do as well. There hasn't been any plot connection throughout all of Phase 4 that I've seen so far. You know, things are loosely connected to each other. But there's no one overarching story. Where, um, phase 4 of the MCU is side missions. Like, Phase 1, 2, and 3, that was the main plot. Now we're into doing all the sub-stories, like in the Yakuza game. YouTube is now doing triple ads on some videos. Because the, oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure management is happy to just push as hard as they can, just a little bit further. I'm like, how many more ads can we stuff in? Like, as, just, just a few more. That we, we got one ad. We can do double ads. We, we can do ads in the middle and end at the end. Ads at the start and end all the time. Hmm. Well, how about triple ads? You know, what, what, what's next? Uh, quadruple ads is just would be absolutely ridiculous. But maybe. Maybe we'll have as many ads on YouTube as there are on, I don't know, TV apps like 7 Plus. Although they only come pretty far apart in TV length ad breaks. But yeah, there's that. The other more serious thing about what's happening with YouTube ads is that they now are not just for videos that are supposed to be monetized. Now, videos outside the um, partner program and other ones that are set to not monetized can and often will still have ads. I noticed I went back and watched some of my um, Pac-Man World playthrough and almost all of the videos in that playlist had one pre-roll ad before them. I'm not making money off ads. I'm, I'm not a monetized channel. I was for a couple of months and then I turned it off because I realized it would take me years to get my first payment from Google. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be worth it. They don't pay you until you get $100 and yeah. There's something weird in the terms of service where I can't tell you specific details, but the idea is that I would not make $100 for a very long time, no matter what Social Blade may tell you about Snake of Bacon. Some interesting things on Social Blade. Weird things. And with that, I think that's enough chewing and going through newsy things all in one take without writing anything on the board. Nope, knocking things off. See? No script. Just things I had to remember. Yeah, that, that's it. To the weather. Up in Darwin, where my feet wish they were. It was a top of 29 today and a low of 18, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, 31, low of 19, partly cloudy. Wednesday, 31, low of 18, partly cloudy. Thursday, 31, low of 17, partly cloudy. Friday, 29, low of 16, partly cloudy. And when the weekend comes, the clouds will go away. Top of 29, low of 16, and Sunday, 29, low of 18. Meanwhile, in Petropavlovsk, Kamchatsky, on the eastern edge of Russia, today the weather was snakes and they'll be back tomorrow! Uh, no, uh, that's fog. Uh, there was a top of 21 and fog, low of 11. Tuesday, top of 18 and fog, low of 10. Wednesday, top of 18 and low of 9, with uh, partly cloudy. Uh, Thursday, the maximum is 16 and cloudy, low of 11 degrees. 
Friday, top of 15, low of 11, and some light rain. Saturday, widescreen, here, 16, 9, ah, funny joke. There'll be rain, high of 16, low of 9 degrees Celsius. Sunday, top of 14, and a low of 9 degrees, with a little bit more rain. But in Western Sydney, it's 7 degrees Celsius right now, and my feet must be 7 degrees Celsius right now on the outside. Oh, to put on another pair of socks. Like two, at the same time. I was doing that all day yesterday, I was wearing outer bed socks over some other socks, and then I woke up with a really sore toenail, I probably squashed it. I don't want, I don't want an ingrown toenail if I'm wearing really tight socks or something. But yeah, that's that. That uh, concludes this. Uh, oh, and, oh, and the weight. I've got to do the weight thing. I'm actually back down to W, down 1.1 kilos from last week, which... I mean, that could just be water, it could be anything, but it's good. Now let's uh, see if we can keep that down uh, next week, further down. Down, down, prices are down. No, they're not. All the prices are up. Ah, oh, inflation. It's insane, but maybe we can talk about that next week. Already a long enough video. I'm a little bit anxious about the stuff I have to make. I, I really want to make that Net Your Rosé Revisited for the 10th anniversary around then. That'll be in August, and... I figured the way I'm going, if I don't start recording soon, how can I possibly get that done while I'm also working on the Gran Turismo thing and all that? And to do that recording, I need to change my whole room setup still. I've, I've cleaned up a bit, but I'd have to totally rearrange everything to um, get the PS2 recording system working. I need a TV with an AV out, I've got one, but it doesn't work very well when it's cold. You know, all sorts of weird issues like that. But hopefully I can get that all sorted um, this weekend or next weekend and start recording and start preparing for uh, the kind of videos I want to do. The Net Eurose stuff, SSX Tricky, more, more PS2 stuff that people like. Um, yeah. Of course, PS4 stuff will continue. I, I plan to do lots of things, I just don't get a whole lot of time. But, anyway, Snake of Bacon, signing out. I'd like to find, find some background music to put with this video. I'm sure you've already heard it by now if I if I put some on here. Got a whole bunch, that'll keep things interesting, yeah. Snake of Bacon, signing out. Why are you still here? Are you in the playlist? Well, it's about to go to the next one.